Welcome back. Now what we need to do is that we need to store the transaction ID in the payments table. So and every everything starts from the payment.php here. Upon success, what we know what we need to do is that we need to here say window and then window and then uh, location location dot ht uh, href is equal to and then we need to create a new file called complete underscore payment dot php and then we need to take with us the transaction id that will be returned by paypal so i'm going to say here question mark and then transaction transaction underscore id is equal to and then i'm going to say plus and then i'm going to say transaction id so this is going to be executed uh, right after the user uh, pays we just take the user to this new page with, which is complete payment so we need here to create a new uh, file called complete underscore payment payment.php and then in this page, the first thing that we need to do, this page, by the way, is going to uh, just uh, is going to change the payment status and store the payment information in the database. So first, we need to use that. We need to uh, start the session because I'm going to be using the session, and then we need to include the connection because obviously we will need to connect to the database. So I'm going to say include connection.php, and then next we need to say if if we have the transaction ID, I'm going to say is set and then get get transaction ID. If we have the transaction ID here and and also if the uh, if the uh, order ID, if we have the order ID, so I'm going to say and is set is set also order id order session order id because the id is in the session the order id is, is in the session order id and and the uh the the uh the get get transaction is not is not empty we can say empty or is not equal to nothing and also the order id and order id the session session here by the way transaction id transaction id and the order id order underscore id is not equal to zero then we need here to do a very important thing which is first we need to change payment payment or order status I should say order status to paid and then the next step is that we need to store payment payment info so here, the first thing is that we need to change the order. Uh, we need to change the order status in the order table. So I'm going to get the order ID first. I'm going to say uh, order ID. But instead of creating new variables, we can immediately use these variables. So I'm going to. I'm just going to say here statement because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to uh, repeat the code over and over again. I'm going to say statement is equal to and then connection. We need to use the connection and then prepare. And then we need to update. We need to update, update, update orders, orders, set, set, order status, order underscore status is equal to question mark where order ID, order underscore ID is also equal to question mark. And we need to append these two. So here I'm going to say uh, statement and then bind 
param and then we need to bind s uh, the the uh, the order is order status is s and the order id is i so i'm going to say order status the order status the order status is the um, uh, the order status is going to be the is, is going to be paid so we can here say order status order status is going to be paid and the order id we can use the session but um, i don't want to confuse you so i'm going to here say order id so the order id is in the session as i told you i'm going to say session order id so we pass here the first the order uh, status and then the order id and then we execute this we say uh, statement and then execute so this is the first uh, part the second part is that we need to insert the payment information in the uh, in, in the payments table so in the payments table we need to create a new statement i'm going to say statement one is equal to again connection prepare and then insert insert into payments what do we want to insert we want to insert the order id order id we also want to insert the uh, transaction id order id transaction ID 